5 percent uh, what it essentially means is that you now pay a cumulative of 21 percent vat mind you the increment affected the standard rates what used to be 12.5 now has been moved to 15 percent mm. now when you add the COVID levy which is one percent when you add national health insurance levy which is 2.5 and then the get fund, which is 2.5, you get 21%. So what we're essentially doing now is to see how much one would pay in all if, say, you shop to a tune of 1,000 Ghana cities. Mm. So what you see here are just the components. Like I mentioned, um, 2.5 for NHIL, 2.5 for get fund, 2. I mean 1% for COVID, and then the standard rate, which is 15%. So when you buy goods worth 1,000 cities, uh, what usually happens is that first, the NHIL will be applied to 1,000 cities. Mm. So you have 2.5% of uh, 1,000 cities. That essentially is going to give you 25 cities. Mm. Now, so because get fund is also 25 cities, let's not belabor the point by doing, um, going over the process. Let's just say that that two will also be 25 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. Now there's a COVID levy, which is 1% of the 1,000 cities. Now 1% 1 of 1,000 will give you 10 Ghana cities. Um, 1,000, this will give you 10 Ghana cities. Mm. Now what happens is that you add the totals of the various components. Mm -hmm. So the NHIL, which is 25 cities, plus 25 cities, which is 50 cities, mm -hmm. plus the 1% 1 I mean COVID, which gives you a total of 60 Ghana cities. Right. Now you add that 60 Ghana cities, so for all these, you get, um, so total here will be 60 cities. Now you add these 60 cities to your goods, I mean the worth of the goods, which originally is 1,000. Mm -hmm. So plus 60, um, then you have 1,060 cities. Now this is the figure on which you apply the standard rate. Okay. So the standard rate, which has been increased from 12%, I right. mean 12.5% 12 to 15%, will be applied on 1,600, I mean 1,060 cities. cities. Yes. Yeah, so when you do that, you would have 15% um, of 1,060 Ghana cities. This is equals to... Um, Okay, so let's just do the quick maths. 15% over 100, multiply this by 1,006. Mm. You'll get 53 CDs, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Now, this 53 CDs, you add it again to the 160 CDs. Mm. Because, mind you, we have already done the calculations for the first, the few ones, I mean, the first ones. Yeah. Now we are doing the calculation for the standard rates. Okay. So, like I mentioned, 15% over 100 multiplied by 1,060. Sorry, this should be 159, yes. not 53, sorry. So, add this 159 to, so now have 159 Ghana cities mm -hmm. plus 1060 Ghana cities. Hmm. This will give you 159 plus 10. Six zero, one thousand two hundred and ninety-six cities. Wow! So when you buy goods worth thousand cities, eventually you would have to pay a thousand two hundred and nineteen Ghana cities as um, a reflection of the increase in the standard rate. Wow! So now you see that we have we had to add the NHIL get fund and COVID before we apply the standard rates. Okay. Mind you, a lot of people have made arguments that this is not a true reflection of what the tax should be. Because mm. when you look at it, it's like you are taxing on tax. Yeah. I say so because we had to add all of these to the yeah. original value before we up add the standard tax. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the minority, for instance, have made that argument. Quite recently, yeah. I had um, the MP for Navrongo Central also make that same argument. Okay. And for him, you can understand because in his previous life, yeah. He was a tax man, so yeah. he understands the complexities of all these things. Right. So essentially, that's how the whole thing is going to work. So which when means that if you buy something for a thousand CDs, you are paying about twenty percent in terms of tax. In fact, you know, 20, over twenty-one percent. Over twenty-one percent. But you see, wow. if we were just going to apply the twenty-one percent, it would have given us just thousand 
210 CDs. Mm. So mm. now the excess of nine CDs is the argument that people make that it is not a true reflection of, of the, the tax component. And this largely is because in 2018, they decouple the VAT standard rate from the other component, which is mm. the National Health Insurance Levy, mm. the GET Fund. Mm. And then subsequently, a 1% was added for COVID, COVID recovery levy. All right.